Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So, AMD has just launched its 7945 HX3D, and this is for laptops. And it is the most powerful laptop GP CPU ever. And it comes on China Joy. They launched it, and yeah, it is what we expected. Though there were some differences, not major differences, but yeah, it has a total of 144 megabytes of L of the cache it's a total cache it comes with zen 4 core 16 core 32 threads boost clock up to 5.4 gigahertz and 55 plus watts of tdp so yeah overall it looks pretty insane and it is on average 15 percent faster compared to 7945 hx and in drift breaker it is almost 50 percent faster so yeah and it is available on as of now on asus rog strix car 17 and we still don't know whether it will be available on any other laptop GPUs as of now, laptops or notebooks as of now. But yeah, and it will be available on August 22nd. And it's called Asus ROG Strix Car 17X 3D. And it is just exclusive as of now. We still don't know about it. But yeah, this looks pretty insane. And it might be available for in US also later down the line. And uh, during the same event, RX 7900 GRE was launched and it comes with the same spec but there are some changes to it at first it comes with 80 it then it comes with 80 gen 2 cores 80 cus which is less than 84 84 which was leaked previously for rx 7900 gre so yeah it's a bit less but it has 160 a 160 a accelerator 500 and 5120 stream processor 16 gb of gdr6 with same ram the bus speed is also what which was leaked and the game clock is 1880 megahertz and boost of 2.245 megahertz which is a pretty nice jump and overall it has a 256 bit bus and yeah the board power is also 300 watts which was leaked and this is how it looks inside and According to the spec sheet which they had given, it is much more faster compared to 16800 7900 GRE. It's pretty nice for those who want a budget GPUs, and it is said to be coming only with Power Color, Sapphire, and XFX. They are only going to make it, and there will be a Founder Edition card which will be available directly by AMD, and it will be available since July 28th, and the starting price is of $649. So yeah. It is on and in US it is only available through system integrator, so you won't be able to buy it directly. But you might be able to buy it directly using AMD's website. And this is a comparison chart of 6800 XT with our 7900 GRE. So yeah, let's just see how this turns out. We still need to see more leaks, but yeah. Along with it, we have news regarding NVIDIA, and NVIDIA has cancelled its RTX 4090 Ti. We already saw 4090 Ti shroud and it graphics card going shroud was going on internet everywhere and now copat senkimi has tweeted out that it's a bummer news but yeah he's tweeted out like rx rtx 4090 ti has been cancelled and there might not be a, another skew which is of 48 gp of vram and stuff but yeah let's see how this turns out to be but according to him it has been cancelled as you can see on the tweet here because RTX 4090 comes with 144SM, there was still a wiggle room with it. But Copa 7 came here said like he suffered that there won't be any more RTX 4090 Ti. Some low grade AD, AD 103 or 106 GPU replacement might be coming, but we need to wait for 5090 Ti, which is coming with next generation. But basically, there will be only 106 chips with another version of RTX 4070 or 4060, but 4090 Ti has been canned. So there won't be any 4090 Ti. So yeah, you need to wait a little longer for that Titan cards, which you wanted. But yeah, according and also in the same thing, he also said that RTX 5090 will be an insane upgrade because yeah, because it will come with a 512 bit interface. Yeah, you heard it right. Like it will come with 512 bit bus interface, which will be pretty insane as he can he says he can come combine with multiple sources i confirm that the flagship gaming cpu Adel Loveless next will come with 512 bit memory interface 
so yeah it's pretty insane because it will also come with jddr7 it won't be coming with jddr7x as this twitter user has seen something pretty insane with the with the tweet with the microns memory segments as there was no mention of jddr7x so there won't be only jddr7x there will be only jddr7 with a speed of 32 gigabits per second and combine it with 512 bits per second you can get a theoretical bandwidth of 2 terabytes per second which is pretty insane and yeah and RTX 1490 comes with 384 bits and it will be 512 for 5090 and it will have an increased capacity to up to 32 GB or maybe 64 GB of VRAM so yeah it's looking pretty insane uh, at least RTX 50 series 5090 but yeah let's just hope that there won't be any more major price increase and it also will having be it also will have 256 sms which is up 256 sm sm which will be up from 128 sm of the rtx 490 so yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the new sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out